And then, of course, it's the end of September, so we're still talking about the tropics, but thankfully there's nothing extremely uh, close to us at this point. Now, Hurricane Sam is using up a lot of energy out in the ocean here. It is a strong category for storms still. It is forecast, as we've been saying, for many days to take this path off to the north before it even reaches these Caribbean islands. So we're not expecting Sam to be a problem for land areas anytime soon. Eventually, it might approach Bermuda, but we will see uh, what happens as it kind of unfolds this week, but it will probably stay a strong major hurricane, maybe even through Friday. So again, using a lot of energy here. Also, a couple of waves that we'll be watching have medium chances for development, and then these are the remnants of Peter that has a low chance of development. So a couple of spots to watch, but really nothing getting close to us. Latest on Hurricane Sam, it has 150 mile per hour winds, category four storm taking the curve to the north. There will be some high pressure right here, so it'll kind of curve around the high, and that's why we're expecting it to move north before it gets into the Caribbean Sea or into the Gulf of Mexico. And you can see it might stay a category three all the way through the end of the week. As for our hurricane season names, we've made it now, of course, through Teresa. Teresa was a really quick little storm, not much of anything, a subtropical storm. Sam is still out there. The next names would be Victor and then Wanda. And we don't want to talk about that other list, the other new list of supplemental hurricane names in case we get past Wanda. We've made it to 19 named storms. I say we're good. Hopefully we're good. I don't know. We are, could still, of course, see activity into October and hurricane season doesn't officially end until November 30th. We'll be tracking it for you. But again, in South Louisiana, everything looking fine this week. Just a few showers to deal with, a little more humidity and hopefully eventually some more of those fall cold fronts.